Hi everyone, so I'm going to work through the sample exam here and show you how to solve each of the problems here in sample exam 1 for Chem 11. So the first question here is asking us about the formula of a compound that's composed of ions from elements 1 and 2. So let's take a look real quickly at what element 1 is. So element 1 has 38 neutrons and more importantly it has 31 protons. So if we look at the periodic table right here, 31 proton corresponds to Ga is element 1 and then element 2 in this case has 34 protons so that corresponds to uh, the element Se here. When we have those two then we have to figure out what kind of ions are going to form. Well Ga is in group 3 so that's going to form a plus 3 ion and Se is in group 6 which means it's going to form a negative 2 ion. So you try to combine those two formulas together to give a neutral compound that's going to mean Ga2 Se3. Answer A right here. Now let's move on to the second question, which is also based on that table. Here it says that you have a spherical light bulb. So your light bulb looks something like this, right? It has a radius that's 18 millimeter. And then the question is, it's filled with this gas from element 5. Okay, so element 5 is right here. Um, if the density of the element is 3.749 grams per liter, how many grams are actually filling the light bulb? Okay, so they give you the volume uh, formula for a cylinder. Uh, so that's actually a typo there. That should be a volume of a sphere. And that volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Okay, so if you think about it, they're asking for mass, right, in grams. So remember that density is equal equal to mass over volume. So mass is going to be equal to density times volume. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to take our volume and calculate it. 4 thirds pi r in this case is 18 millimeters. Since this density is in liter, we want to eventually convert that to that unit. So one cubic centimeter is one milliliter. So there's a relationship with that. So we'll convert this millimeter radius to centimeter first right now. So if you want to convert that, that becomes 1.8 centimeter. And then you're going to cube that based on the formula. And I'm going to use a calculator here to find that out. Okay. Okay, so the answer I got is 24.429.02 dot dot dot, right? And this is the volume in cubic centimeter. My formula here is density times volume to get my mass, so that's what I'm going to do. Density is here is given 3.749 grams per liter. I'm going to multiply it, so 24.42902 milliliter. And of course, this one cancel. Okay, so if I want to convert that, then I have milli liter here to liter, and that would be 1 to 1,000. Your answer here would be, let's see, 0 0.09158 grams. And given the significant figures we have here, which is 3, we're going to end right here. And 0 0.0916, of course, is the same as 9.16 times 10 to the minus 2 grams, which is our answer to this question.